All right, so here is the Cold Steel Bushman. And my dog now goes crazy. Cold Steel. This has the hollow end. It does have a hole. Uh, it's right in here. It's gonna be impossible to see on there because I had put paracord on there for a handle. The hole goes right through. This just gives me a better grip than that smooth for uh, just chopping stuff or whatever. This thing chops stuff fairly well. And I have had this one for quite a long time. It will chop stuff, no problem. Um, yeah, you could probably have a time with it. Haven't done much of that. Overall, for like a survival knife, I like this one. I've had it for years. I broke the original sheath. My mother had made me a leather one five years ago or something like that. Nowadays they come with, I'll see if I can't leave a link down in the description, but nowadays they come with a uh, Kydex. You can find them, maybe that's the one I'll try to link. It has a Kydex, uh, Kydex sheath that also holds a ferro rod, so it's kind of cool. Um, anything small. Tika, Tika, enough, puppy. I was barking at something. You can do your, all your normal stuff. This is no problem for any of this. It holds an edge pretty good. You can feather stick this nasty old hard stuff if you wanted to. You can easily notch stuff. Tika, enough! Hey! You can notch stuff with this, no problem. You can chop stuff with this. It's, uh, it's a decent overall blade. You can see the thickness, probably. I don't know if that's quarter inch, maybe a little bit heavier. Tika, enough! Stop it, good girl! Enough! Hey! Every time I say good girl, she wants to keep barking. <laughs> but this will chop stuff, no problem. Uh, tip's still really straight on it. You can uh, poke stuff with it. As far as a defensive weapon, uh, I think it would work okay. It's got a little bit of distance to it. You know, it would give you a little bit more reach if you had to. Big thing's the grip, slipping past that blade. You don't wanna ever, you know, stick something and your hand slides all the way up. So that's why I won't even go too hard just, you know, stabbing into something like that. Uh, uh, blade's good, steel's pretty good. Uh, cold steel usually does a pretty good job. Uh, he's got pretty nice knives. Uh, this is, I would say, Call it Bushman, pretty much survival knife. You know, it's a uh, full tango, obviously. Hey, puppy, enough now. Here's everything. She's like, what is it, Dad? What is it? Okay, puppy, puppy. But this thing does a pretty good job doing everything. Sorry about this dog. Jeez, I wasn't going to make this so long of a video, but I just wanted to show no problems with pretty much all your basic whatever you wanted to do with it. Um, It'll do it. This is hard wood, real hard wood. I've used it on a couple different videos now. This wood, because it's so stinking hard, I've actually uh, broken blades on this wood and bent tips on this wood, so I figured why not show it off again. But uh, yeah, Cold Steel Bushman, you can check it out. I'll try to leave a link for it. Uh, overall, for the price, not too bad. It's uh, a decent blade. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the thumbs up and the shares. We'll see you again soon. Have a good day.